Calving barn. This is another one of the things I'm awfully proud of because I had a lot to do with designing it. This was a hard sell with Big Frank, and he'll tell you. All the rest of his barns don't look like that, do they? Notice they were all A-frame. Big Frank said, really? You're going to put that ugly barn up? Really? And we said, Dad, we're going to try and make this one just a little bit for our comfort, too, and we're going to see why. So what we do for calving is, first of all, we'll spread the adjoining barn. And now we're going to gather up our next synchronization group. As they calve, they get grouped up into synchronization groups. First ones to calve are the first ones to synchronize. So we'll build up the first hundred. That's going to be synchronized group number one. Then we'll do another hundred, and they'll go into a pasture. Another hundred till we get through all thousand cows, right? So each hundred cows, we fill in that group, and then they'll get moved out into a synchronization group, and that's be how they get managed the rest of the year for breeding. And you can see all these animals now. This is what's pretty cool. You know, we're calving at a pretty good clip, right? See all these animals, these cows and calves? They were all born the previous day. So in 24 hours, all these animals are born. They now get scooted out. So for one day, they stay in the barn. Day two, they go in this, I'm getting used to the outside and getting used to where my mom is. Day three, they get shoved out just like they did. So those are three-day-old calves. Now I'm going to take you inside the calving barn for those of you who haven't been in it. That's 25 pens. Every pen is exactly a 10 by 10 square. And we will fill the house nearly every night. So every night comes by, we will fill the house. And if you're wondering why our disposition on our bulls is good, when you put a cow in a 10 by 10, can you find out if she's friendly? You do, right? And anyone that's not friendly absolutely goes. I showed this because I wanted to show you the contrast. This was me calving shift going from 11 o'clock at night till 4 in the morning or 3.30 in the morning. Look at the cows. Same cows, they're just outside. It turned out, it turned into minus 19 this night. Okay? But look at, look at the difference. Look at the contrasting difference between. We'll let them calve right out there and then we bring them in once they calve. Now again, back inside, you'll see that's Brother Dan. And my nephew, Frank, what he's doing is he's tagging the calf. Notice he reached underneath to make sure we're double-checking the sex to make sure we got the sex right the first time. They already gave it a shot of, of all things coronavirus, okay? And it's going down. And these are the ones that were born the night before, right? So now they're getting pushed. Remember into that building we just saw them all get pushed out of? They're getting pushed back into that building so they have one day of outside before they get with the bigger groups. Grabbing the next one. I don't know if you noticed that that first one had a white tag. As calves, a white tag means embryo transplant. This one's got a yellow tag. So this one is actually the mother of its calf. And we'll just go through, and he's tagging them all the next morning. And we're getting ready for the, you know, it's basically like the maternity ward, right? Getting ready for the next hospital run. Come through, and we come back, and we actually come right behind him. We'll spread the straw just by hand. So dad's happy. We all have pitchforks yet. We're still pitching them behind. We'll, we'll individually spread all those pins. And this is why I say, when you're doing this, you get to know the good, the bad, and the ugly of the cows. And you, we will get rid of the bad. We'll actually have a hose that's right in there. We pull it out, individually water. You can see Rick's watering them right there, individually watering the animals. And if you're wondering what temperature we're keeping it at, we're keeping it right at 40 degrees. That's the mark we think, based on our experience. At 40 degrees, good things happen, okay? At 35 degrees, bad things begin to happen. So it really is 40 where our mark is. And then we'll just individually put up a little bit of square hay. So for one day, basically, every cow is in this barn. Here's one that was just born, so we let him calve outside. I mean, that calf was just born, right? Let him calve outside, let them get to know their calf. Frank's gonna grab the calf and pull it into the cart. What you can't see, but I'm going to show you as we zoom up, is that cart actually has whey cells on it. Because if we're going to do things, we're going to do things right, right? So we want a precise weight on what that calf weighs. We don't want somebody holding it up and jiggling it around, right? So I'm going to zoom in on the weight. That one was just born, 69 pounds. So that's Brother Frank there, 69-pound calf, bull calf. 
He's letting the cow come up and sniff it, get to know it a little more yet. Then he's off to bring it in side into the warm area. So remember that cold area? That's where he's at now. Now he's bringing it inside into the warm area, those 25 pins that stay at 40 degrees. And the cow follows. Now we're inside. There's the mama. Finds an empty pen. We don't have special pens for any, whichever pen's empty. He finds, he finds an empty pen. We have it designed where the gate swings over with the cart so an animal can't get by. You see that? Fills the whole alley. So nothing can get by. And in comes mama. Still has the calf on that rope that's hooked into the thing. He's going to pull it in. He's sexing it. He has the weight. He brings it in. Puts it in a corner. Closes it up. It goes, yep, that's the right calf. We're doing an overhead view of it. Yep. Start loving on the calf. Another happy family is made. 